Hey everyone, I am Jashan Jain. Welcome to today's video. In semiconductors, chip, or SOC manufacturing, we often talk about technology node. We know that Apple's M1 chip was based upon 5 nanometer tech node, and they have used it in iPhone 13. Similarly, AMD's latest CPU, that is Ryzen 7000 series, is also based upon 5 nanometer technology node. And AMD is in further talks with TSMC to scale it down to 3 nanometer and 2 nanometer. So while hearing about the word nanometers or process technology or technology node have you ever thought what does that actually mean please don't think if it relates to any physical dimension of the transistor then what exactly it is and why every big tech is just doing hard work to scale these nanometers down and down so let's find out the reasons before moving forward if you are new to my channel let me tell you i cover videos related to vlc industry and uh, trends in semiconductor industry with respect to today's era and uh, videos to help vlc aspirants so if you find it interesting you can consider subscribing my channel the very first transistor was developed in 1947, the same year India got independence. And since last 75 years, the transistors have covered a journey from 1 centimeter node to 2 nanometer node till date and even 1 nanometer as well. So uh, these are following the popular Moore's law as per convention. Now you would say that these technology nodes are nothing but the channel length or gate length of the transistor and which this is what you have been taught. But uh, let me tell you, you are much, much wrong here. It's definitely not related to any physical dimension of the transistor at all. In my last LinkedIn post, I have conveyed that we used to have planar CMOS devices. At those times, the technology node actually refers to the physical dimension of the transistor. We already know that CPUs, GPUs or memory cells are made up of transistors and these are the nanoscopic devices which perform as a switch in digital ICs. So every function of the processor or memory cell is decided by this tiny device that is transistor. Uh, just a few years ago when we talked about 128 nanometer, uh, 65 nanometer or 130 nanometer technology node it actually referred to the minimum feature size of the transistor or we can say the gate length or channel length all the lithographic machines and masks are designed according to this feature size so till then it was okay to say that uh, the technology node really refers to the feature size that is channel length or gate length of the transistor this analogy was fortunately followed for long long time but not now when semiconductor era moved to a new tech node that is 22 nanometer they shifted to a new new manufacturing architecture of transistors and they called it as FinFET. With this new 3D structure of FinFETs, the tech node no longer followed the actual gate length and it has lost its significant analogy with any physical dimension of the transistor. Isn't it wonder when I say that this device is 5 nanometer, it does not actually mean any physical dimension, but it actually is just a number. You will be amazed to know that we did not just stop at uh, 3D FinFETs and uh, we have shifted to new technology that is gate all around FETs. And it is the advanced technology and launched by Samsung and IBM this year. Samsung has started its initial phase of 3 nanometer technology with this uh, gate all around architectures and uh, they are going to use it on mobile phones. Now since people were much more lean towards this technology node naming like 22 nanometer, 10 nanometer, 12 nanometer, so marketing experts suggested to follow the same trend. So by varying the performance of the transistors and making them performing better, they are scaling down the technology node and giving it as a new number. Let me take an example. For 10 nanometer base transistor, its half pitch is 32 nanometer, gate length is 90 nanometer, but it just tells you that it has better performance with respect to power, delay, area. So we can define this tech node number more as a marketing number and this marketing number benchmarks the new technology parameters with respect to previous one. So whenever we say this device is 5 nanometer process node based, it actually means that it is following the expected performance with respect to lower delay, lower power and lower area and hence the lower shrink uh, packaging density. And this 5 nanometer is not the actual channel length or gate length, but it is actually much greater. Now, most importantly, since this technology node is just a marketing notion, therefore each and every company has its own definitions and performance values uh, for their technology node nomenclature. So by making small changes in the parameters, they announce new tech nodes in the market and grab more attention of the users. For instance, manufacturing parameters of Intel's 10 nanometer technology node are way too close to the Samsung's and TSMC's 7 nanometer tech node. So actually Intel's 10 nanometer transistor density is already higher than the Samsung's 10 nanometer and comparable to the TSMC's 7 nanometer. And similarly Intel's 14 nanometer performance values are already close to the 
Samsung's 10 nanometer technology node. Now Intel's marketing team took a notice of this and therefore they followed a new strategy to take over. They called Intel's 10 nanometer technology node to be Intel 7 and Intel's 7 nanometer node to be Intel 4. So with this they have came up with a new attention in the market and the users are now like seeing it is it as a new technology node. And now following the same trend all big companies or fabs has given a dimensionless name to their technology node just like Intel TSMC has given its 7 nanometer tech node to be as N7 and its 4 nanometer tech node as its N4 and similarly N343 nanometer. So with this all the companies are coming with a dimensionless name to their process nodes. Therefore this further clarifies that technology node number has nothing to do with the physical dimension of the transistor. Now when you heard about new scale tech node uh, like one angstrom or one nanometer it means that the corresponding fab has come up with a better performing transistor chips but no doubt the cost of switching to new technology node is just too much high because whole the machinery setup has to be replaced with new parametric machines and it really costs around million dollars. So this is the way new tech nodes are announced by the fabs and these names are then utilized by the fabless companies to market their products such as Apple's A16 chip in iPhone 14 and Samsung's 3 nanometer GAA based chip for mobile phones and AMD's 3 nanometer chip for their processors Ryzen series. So while lowering the technology nodes and providing better performing chips it is incorporating more number of CPUs, GPUs in the products and making them more uh, compatible to the users and eventually the semiconductor companies are getting profitable with this. So I hope you are now well aware about the tech node names and I hope you have enjoyed the whole discussion. So for more videos related to semiconductor industry and uh, new tech, you can subscribe my channel and you can follow me on Instagram. I am uh, with the user id jan.jeshu. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.